Edge rusher is a low-key position need for the Minnesota Fighting Vikings this offseason. Yes, superstar, all-world uh, Daniil Hunter is returning. Afadi Odenabo is probably going to be back as a restricted free agent. And DJ Wanham certainly has upside and potential, but you can never have enough dudes who can get after the quarterback, as evidenced uh, in the Super Bowl. Uh, the draft makes sense, but also that's one less draft pick that you can use on other positions need. So what about free agency? Even though Vikings are currently $4.6 million over the cap, it's, there's easy ways to clear up some money here. There are three free agent value defensive ends for the Vikings. Let's go shopping. Let's go money ball. Let's go cheap on the B. So criteria, young, relatively cheap, under $10 million per year. All three of these guys are coming off the rookie deal, so let's dig in. Number one, Dwayne Smoot coming from the Jacksonville Jaguars. No, he's not related to Fred Smoot. We looked it up. Trust me. Uh, 25 years young, uh, 6'3", 264, uh, was a 2017 third-round pick out of Illinois by the Jaguars, and really only came on the last two seasons. Uh, had 32 pressures, five and a half sacks this year, including two sacks, by the way, uh, against the Vikings Week 13. Uh, he's only one of three dudes to get a sack on Brian O'Neill this year, so that's pretty damn impressive. And like we've said on here a bunch, never sleep on, hey, that, play, that guy played uh, well against us scouting. Mm. 66.6 PFF pass rusher grade the mark of the devil uh, can play right or left defensive end and really does have powerful hands it has a nice burst off the line I, I don't think that there's going to be a massive market for him plus with Jacksonville new regime uh, I, I don't know if he's going to be back there either and could be a candidate for uh, what you're going to see a lot in free agency this time around where the guys that have value coming off the rookie deal sign one year moderate money but they're just uh, playing out the string hoping that they can prove it this year and then if and when the uh, salary cap goes back up in 2022 and they can really hit a big in free agency i think smoot will be a candidate for that Next up, uh, value uh, defensive end number two uh, for the Minnesota Fighting Vikings, Tano Passano of the Chiefs, uh, 26 years young, uh, six foot seven, 289, was a 2017 second round pick out of Villanova, and he was absolute money in terms of height, length, size, uh, hand size, short area quickness as well, uh, but never really established himself in Kansas City, opposite of Frank Clark, uh, only combined uh, for seven sacks over four seasons, uh, put up a 55.4 PFF grade this year, his first as a full-time starter, uh, and he only generated 30 pressures this year, which, you know, uh, ha had a Golston game in the Super Bowl as well. That means zero pressures, zero quarterback hits, zero hurries, zero sacks. It wasn't great, uh, but the length is legit. And I don't think that there's going to be a massive market for him either. But uh, the length certainly cannot be ignored. It sort of reminds me when the Vikings uh, were experimenting with you know six round pick Audi Aruna out of Tulane, as well as they brought in Stacey Keeley, who was six foot eight, had length for days. He was a UDFA out of UAB. Uh, but pass it no respect, solid against the run, uh, has the size and the length to kick inside on passing downs. Uh, you can use him the way that uh, the Colts use DeForest Buckner, or the Niners should use Eric Armstead, or you know, potentially how. Boy, Roy Robertson Harrison uh, Harris of the Bears, how he kicks inside. He's got that size and length, makes it a problem uh, for some shorter armed uh, interior offensive linemen. And plus, he won't be too expensive. Uh, lastly, uh, value for agent, edge rusher number three for the Minnesota Fighting Vikings, Demarcus Walker of the Broncos. Now, Shelby Harris of the Broncos, defensive tackle, certainly interested in him, Tom Johnson 2.0. But Walker on the edge, bring it. 26 years old, uh, six foot four, 280, former second round pick, number 51 overall in 2017. Uh, came in as an edge rusher uh, out of Florida State. He had 16 sacks and 19 and a half tackles for loss in his final season in Tallahassee. Dalvin Cook's teammate, Parker by the way. Uh, he's been primarily uh, a rotational guy for the Broncos, just never really found his spot. Only 685 snaps over four seasons, but had a quasi bust out this year. Uh, 17 tackles, 16 pressures, four and a half sacks, a 64.0 pass rush grade. Uh, injuries and lack of playing time could depress his value. I don't see him getting a multi-year contract in, in this free agent market, but he is physical, sets the edge well against the run, uh, plus has strength at the point of attack. Uh, also, he played two-thirds of his snaps uh, on the inside this year, so that could add some value where he's an early down edge rusher, uh, really good against the run, but then kicks inside on passing downs, a little NASCAR package going on where he's simply too quick uh, at 280 pounds uh, for uh, interior offensive linemen. So uh, that's it. 
Uh, those are three value defensive ends for the Minnesota Fighting Vikings. That's they should check out for agency. And I, I think it would be smart because the Vikings say they miss out on you know the big trophies in free agency this year. So no Joe Thune, no Leonard Williams, no Patrick Peterson. Uh, they can certainly improve every single level of this roster. And getting a guy who may not be the starter opposite of Daniel Hunter, but can put in time, get snaps both uh, inside and outside uh, as a work in DJ Wanham, as a work in Fadio Deno, but as they still work in rookie TBD. I think it makes sense. So Dwayne Smoot, Tano Passano, Demarcus Walker, come on down. Minnesota Fighting Vikings. Let's go value shopping. It's like dollar store, baby. Let's go. Uh, but your thoughts, uh, three value for agent defensive events for the Vikings. Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once we'll support that work, pull us on the Venmo. But until next time, Skull, production value.